Arsch geht's. Hey, Meg. <lacht> nice Pecorus, Sclepius. Yeah, what about it? I really think you have a chance with the most beautiful woman in all of Athens with that between your legs. <lacht> oh, silly Sclepius. Yeah, real mature, Hercules. You know, just because you won the genetic lottery with your perfectly tiny pecker doesn't mean you can go around making fun of everyone else's. Statuesque, isn't it? I suppose that's what separates the gods from the mortals, really. Your monstrosity is uncouth and barbaric, sagging around like, well, like my club here. I bet you could beat a woman or young boy half to death with it, too, you barbarian. No. While mine is beautiful and sophisticated. Like a baby's finger holding a blueberry. Hmm. Not that you even could lay a young boy with a peck of that big. It would never fit. No, don't say that. If, if they ever built a statue of you, they'd have to water double the marble. It's not the size that counts. It's the motion of the ocean. What ocean? It would all spill out if you got in. If I chop off its head, will three more take its place? No, wait, wait, wait. it's not a hydra at all, is it? It's more of a cyclops. There's a big ghastly eye in the middle. I want to give it a whack, see the beast off. Shut up! It's not that big! It's not! <laughs> The cartoon you just watched was brainstormed in this highly humorous video, along with two others. What might a historically accurate Frozen look like? Or even the hunchback of Notre Dame? That's how the French say it. So click the video.